Hey YouTube, this is Jaden Storm, Kanachi Team Shadow Strike, and this is going to be an update on my Bluish Flames now that I finally have all the new support for it. Um, I've done quite a bit of playtesting with this deck, and it's a lot of fun. If you are looking for a good deck that can still compete in the meta, Bluish Flames is definitely a deck that can still hang in the meta um, for its swarm ability and things like that. I'm going to be doing a uh, meta update pretty soon and talking about the decks that I think um, that are still top in the meta and all that so that'll be coming up soon so be sure to look for that so anyway guys let's just jump straight into this so for the starting vanguard we play uh, flaming passion liberator guido this is still your best option just because you get a free spear call out of it and I still main deck a second one just because um, it gets you a deck shuffle, and you want to keep your superior call. You, and you want to keep your superior calls rolling. Um, you do not want them to stop. So, the trigger lineup we play is four copies of Steel Blade Liberator Alwilla, and then we play four of our new critical trigger, um, Ascendant Liberator Barb Truck. I actually read this card wrong um, because I thought originally this card had to be superior called out of the deck. This card just has to be called. When this unit is called, whether it's out of your hand or the deck, you can place it on the bottom of your deck. Well, here, I'll just read it. When this unit is placed on rear guard, you may pay the cost, which is placed on the bottom of your deck. If you do, look at the top four cards of your deck for a unit with bluish flame in its hand. It With a, a unit with bluish flame in its name. So one of your grade threes, if it's there, put it into your hand and reveal it to your opponent and then shuffle your deck. So it gets you another deck shuffle. Go, the crit goes back to the deck um, and all that good jazz. So this is a really, really good card for this deck. Um, we still play the four copies of Catch Gull Liberator, um, which is kind of like our wild card when we're doing our superior calls off the top. So, if we look at the top three or four and we see one we don't like, but we get Catch Go, we can use him to look at the top three, and he lets us shuffle our deck again. So, um, we want to keep our deck, you know, nice and uh, shuffled and random, and then we play our four copies of uh, uh, Numinous Tree Liberator Elchia. So... Some people um, have asked, now that we have... Um, Barbatruck, is it possible to play 12 crit? It was possible to play 12 crit a long time ago. Um, and it's you could do that if you really wanted to, but I just like Catch Goal um, for the wild card version. I might try the 12 crit version one day, you know, surprise people at my locals with it, but I don't know. I like uh, I like I, I like the stand trigger, that's just me. We play four perfect guard. I will be playtesting the G Perfects from set three. I just don't have any yet. Um, but until then, I'm still going to be playing, uh, this one, which came out with the Bluish Flames in set 16. We are still playing our four copies of May Rain Liberator Bruno, because whenever we do our Superior Call rate, um, loops, this guy can get up to huge, and if we stick him behind Glare, he's absolutely a nightmare. Um, we play three copies of Josephus still for the draw power, um... Because uh, who doesn't love a little bit of draw power? And then for the last grade one is I play two of the new card, Afterglow Liberator Bellinius. Um, his ability is Generation Break 1. When he's placed on the rear guard from the deck, yep, choose two of your other units and they get plus 2k until the end of turn. So you can use this to kind of boost up some columns um, just to cre get higher numbers, so... Um, another card that you could replace him with if you didn't want to play him is you could play two Stride Enablers, the Stride Booster Grade 1 that you discard to immediately stride with, but I like him, so. Grade 2s. For um, Glare Aglavale, <laughs> basically when he's placed on the rear guard from the deck, you may Soul Blast 1, look at the top 5 for a bluish flame, if there's 1, add it to your hand, reveal it to your opponent, and shuffle your deck, um, and also whenever he attacks, if you have a vanguard with bluish flame in its name, he gets plus 2000 power, making him an 11k attacker, so 
that's good. Next, we play four copies of Oath Liberator Aglavail. This is kind of this is a card that we use to start getting our field built up. Um, basically, when he's placed on the rear guard, you counterblast one, look at the top three, and superior call one, and uh, it just starts helping you build up a field. So, so anyway. And then for the last grade two, we play three copies of Taciturn Liberator Brennius. This card is absolutely insane. Um, he He's pretty dumb, especially if you can get a column with him and Bruno going, because every time you superior call plus three, plus two, so the column gets plus five, and um, Brennius' ability is every time he, a unit is superior called, he gets plus 2,000 power and the ability to unflip one damage if his attack hits a vanguard. So if you superior call four times, he'll gain 8,000 power, and if his attack hits, you can unflip four damage. So he is absolutely insane. So, uh, the ability to reset the damage in Bluish Flames, um, is... Literally is literally a game changer and can make and basically give this deck new life. So, <laughs> um, for the other grade three, other than glare, um, this will probably surprise some of you guys. Is I'm playing four copies of Bluish Flame Liberator Prominence Core. Now, the reason for this is because I originally said back when Bluish Flames first came out, you could not play Prominence Core and Prominence Glare in the same deck because it was too counterblast heavy, and I still stand by that. But the reason you can do this now is because now that we have Strides and we have uh, G Perfects and things like that, Percival is just a little too slow. Because you can you can build a field still pretty quickly um, through your G units and him and Glare's ability. So I mean, so and then obviously we play for Glare. Even though Glare is who you want to ride over Prominence Core, but even if you do ride Prominence Core, you can still Legion with him, and he still has the same ability that Glare does. You can counterblast one, sack one unit, and look at the top four and superior call one to get some superior calls rolling. But I mean, I, I wasn't un, I wasn't sure how I would like this, but I decided to try Prominence Core now that the the way you can play this deck has changed because of Stride, and it does it does um, a lot better than I thought it would. But yeah, I would definitely uh, and Prominence Core is cheap. One of these is even SP, but um, these are really cheap to pick up now. So, but if I had Prominence Glare and Prominence Core in my hand, I'm always going to ride. Uh, glare over core every single time. For the G units, we play three copies of Fast Chase Golden Knight Campbell. Um, so he finally came out as a rare in this set. So if you didn't get him as a promo from set two, he is now gettable as a rare, which I replaced all mine with rares because they're shiny. Um, but anyway, um, his ability is pretty simple. When he his attack hits a vanguard, you get to look at the top five cards of your deck and superior call one of them, and it gets plus 2,000 power until the end of turn. So, pretty cool. Um, and Oh, and also you get to shuffle your deck, which is also pretty cool. Next, we play two copies of Golden Dragon Spear Cross Dragon. Now, this is in here... Um, because um, we have the room, and this is all the spear cross that I have, but I th honestly think you only need two of them. Um, his ability is when he's your vanguard, you may counterblast two and persona, f persona flip or persona blast or, or persona G blast, whatever you want to call it. Um, and for every card face up in your G zone, you get to look at the top five cards of your deck and superior call that many cards. So if you go to Campbell first, then you go to him and you flip him over, you get to look at the top five and superior call two. Um, but generally what I do is I go to Campbell and then I'll either go to another Campbell or one of my other G units and then I'll go to him so I can at least superior call four units. But And I don't th I think they all have to be to open rear guards. Yeah, they have to be to open rear guards, so keep that in mind. Then for the rest of my G units, as I play two copies of Rain Element Maydew, um, basically just to re-add our prominence glares and cores into our hand so we can use them with glares ability. And then for the last card, as I play one Blizza, just because I like Blizza. So, I mean, if you want to drop one Maydew for another Campbell, you can, or play more Spear Cross, you can, but really... Uh, 
two spear cross is really all you need. So anyway, guys, that is my uh, bluish flame deck. Um, uh, now that we have all our new support, I hope this isn't the only support that bluish flames get. I hope they get some more support. I really, really enjoy this deck. It's so much fun. Um, so anyway, guys, in the comment section below, feel free to tell me your thoughts on the deck. Tell me what you think. If you have any suggestions, I'd be happy to hear them. Um, so anyway, guys, um, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, a comment, subscribe, thumbs up the video for me, and I'll see you next time.